I don't know why I'm so dazed this time. Good morning, people that follow my book. Um, today is the day I have my second operation. For those of you who don't know, I am due for a second operation. Aww. Same operation, but on the different foot. So if this surgery vlog continues, this phase continues, and you have to deal with me a little bit longer. So how am I feeling for the surgery? I'm actually feeling super excited. I've been waiting for this for like three months now. I could have done this operation like a month ago. I was like, oh my gosh, my right foot is just killing me. My unoperated foot was so much worse than my operated foot, which I guess is a good thing because that just means it worked. So I'm super, super excited for the surgery. I don't know if it may seem like I'm a little bit bleak because I haven't eaten since last night. That's what I hate about hospital. They tell you not to eat from a certain time and it's just, it's really paining me because I'm just really hungry and I'm so emotional because I just want food. And also, if you have noticed that the quality of the video has been slightly dropped, it's because I'm using my cellular device to record this. My vlog camera got stolen a couple of weeks back, which is not the best situation to be in. But that does not stop me from recording and documenting this exciting procedure so during my hospital stay i will be taking you with me i actually wanted to organize like videoing the surgery or like taking photos of the surgery but i just totally was not on top of that so unfortunately you're not going to be seeing any gory stuff which i was quite upset about because i was like i really want to see what they actually do in my foot i think it's really interesting is that weird <laughs> yeah it probably is <laughs> Word, I look so beautiful. One eternity later. Okay, so I've just finished my operation and I'm feeling super, super dazed. <laughs> um, when I woke up in theater, like I just started crying for no reason. I didn't even know why. My right foot was very, 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 very sore, so they gave me like an injection in my bum. That's the worst. I once had a vitamin B injection in my bum and I just couldn't, that, I just can't do injections in bum. Like, I'm not afraid of needles or anything, but I just, bum injections, not my thing. So they gave me more pain meds and that kind of stuff. So now it's, it's pretty settled. But yo, I just, I woke up and I started crying. I felt like such an emotional wreck. So after uh, an hour, Two hour nap, I don't even know. Finally, there is food. My mom has just quickly gone downstairs to buy me like a chicken salad or something because the hospital portions are not Bronwyn portions of food. I just feel so dazed and so like hungry because I haven't eaten the whole day. Like the last time I eaten, I, was, I ate, wait, hang on, what? The last time I ate was last night. It seems like the up went really well, except for the fact that when I woke up, just tearing up so much, I was crying because my life was so, 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 I'm like a different girl, like I don't cry, like I have a high pressure, and I just woke up and I crying. I was like, did you put some other type of drug in the anesthetic? I managed to keep the bones again. Here are the bones that, I don't know if you can see that, they ended up taking like, it looks like about two and a half, three bones. So yeah, that's how I'm feeling at the moment. I'm hoping to have some visitors later today. Okay, so it's about half past seven. Um, I've just woken up and, well, I haven't just woken up because last night they had to come in for so many reasons, like to check my blood pressure. So. I woke up at like 1 and then woke up at like 3 and then woke up at like 5 so okay so the physio and the doctor just came to check on me and the physio got me up and moving on crutches and gave me a few sitting exercises to do which is great and doc is happy with how the surgery went so that's reassuring I'm now discharged and just waiting for breakfast waiting for food the most important thing of the day are so yellow. 
Gross. Right, so I have made it back home. This morning at the hospital, I just kept passing out. Like, I didn't even know what it was this time. I was so much more chirpier last time when I went into, when I went out of surgery. But this time I was just so dopey and so sleepy. I can only think it was because I had a different anesthetist. I feel very weird right now. But I'm back home now and I guess the next thing on the agenda is lots of Netflix. Lots of movies, lots of ice cream, so much for any no-carb diet. So I hope you enjoyed my little trip to the hospital. All the best to everyone. I hope everyone has a good week and stay as positive and optimistic. If you're going out, if you're going out there and you're also having a surgery and you're also battling to do this, message me. I'll be there for mental support and mental encouragement. Bye. <coughs> Like I feel like that is so exhausting. <laughs> Bloodstream. If I fall asleep while this is still going, I think that would be hilarious. If I fall asleep and then, like, you guys can just see. <laughs>